Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to create animated drop-down menu in Xcode 11 and Swiftfy. This tutorial should work with Xcode 10 and Swift 4. This is a sample project. Uh, so if you click the button, you see this animation and you get more options. Really easy, really simple. Let's get started. First, we'll create a new Xcode project and this will be a single view app. Hit next and product name will be, let's say cool animated drop down menu and make sure language is Swift and user interface is storyboard. Hit next and save it wherever you like. I'll save it under recording and let's go full screen. First, iPhone 11 and main.storyboard. We need a bunch of buttons, so let's go to object library and drop some buttons. First one, make sure the button is selected and hit command D. Uh, put it here, select again, command D again, put it here, again. So we need total of eight buttons. Next thing, go ahead and select all of these buttons and we will stack them in stack view. So the way you do it is you select all these buttons and under uh, over here, the last option, like which like there's an arrow which points downward. So you select that and you say stack view and something, uh, it should look like this. Next thing, uh, we will give constraints to our stack view. So select stack view over here and go over here and say 10 from the top. 20 from the left, 20 from the right, and uh, that's it, only three constraints, and say add constraints. Next thing we need to do is we need to give constraint to our buttons. So select all the buttons and go back over here, zero from left, zero from right, and a fixed height of 50. So phi zero, and add constraints. So let's go ahead and uh, change the font color to white. And uh, okay, uh, we need to give background color, otherwise we cannot see it. And this is not really white, so we need complete white. Uh, let me go, okay, here, white color. So let's give background color. First, we'll give background color to the first button, and that will be go ahead, drag down, and we need custom. And this will be something like this, looks good. Next, go ahead and select a remaining buttons and that one will be green and close this. Uh, next thing, we need to change the fonts. So select buttons over here and go back to font. This will be custom. Uh, I love uh, Avenir next and uh, just keep it regular for now and size will be 25. Next, go ahead and select the first button and change it to Demi Bold. So it just like stands out. And now let's just give it the names. So this will be select fruit. Uh, next one will be apple. This one will be banana. Up here, banana. Let's do kiwi. Next, we can do orange. Uh, this can be blueberry, we can do peach, and guava. Uh, guava. Yeah, uh, if you notice, there's a lot of spacing between this uh, button. So go ahead, select your stack view under attribute inspector, change the spacing to two, and now it looks much better. Now we need to connect all these buttons to our view controller. So open up your assistant editor and let's get some space in this. So first select fruit press. This will be an action. So select uh, fruit press and type will be UI button and connect. Next we will connect Apple and we'll say fruit selected. Let's say fruit pressed just be consistent and type will be UI button as well. So let's get some space. So if you hover over here, you can see like where it's connected to. So same goes to here. So click this and drag the remaining buttons. So orange, blueberry, P, 
peach and guava and you can just confirm when you hover over here uh, next thing we need outlets so select fruit outlets select fruit btn and this will be ui button next we need outlet collection for our fruit so this will be of type outlet collection change it over here and name will be let's say fruit uh, btn collection and hit connect uh, we are done with the story no so yeah you hover over here and here just apple is connected so we need to do the same thing which we did, did earlier and connect all this stuff so that we are good to go and oh did i miss it yeah i missed it so let's just confirm okay looks good looks good looks good okay we are good to go so hop over to view controller command shift o view controller faster way to do that uh let's start by making everything look around um uh, and select fruit button dot layer dot corner radius equal to select fruit button dot frame dot height uh, by two and so as we have a fruit button collection we can have a for loop so we will do fruit btn collection dot for each and enter btn btn dot layer dot corner radius equal to btn dot frame dot height by two so when you do this like frame dot height by two it, it becomes like perfectly round you know uh, next thing we can also do is like print when the fruit is selected so we can select say print uh, no let's do this uh, if let btn label is equal to sender dot text label sender dot text sender dot label uh, oh yeah it's title label dot text and now we can say print btn label and let's run and see how it looks so here the simulator is running and this one was the one i created earlier so we need this effect so over here you can see all the buttons and when you press on apple you get apple you get guava and everything is round over here so it looks good but we still don't have the animation so we will stop this and let's do the animation part so uh first we need to hide because like initially it's supposed to be hidden so button dot is hidden and we will set this to true and uh one more thing we will do is button dot alpha is equal to zero and under select fruit pressed uh, once again we will run the for loop for each and this will be button and now we need to animate so ui view dot animate with duration and animation i like duration to be zero point so the one the 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 earlier project was 0 0.8 but i think it's pretty slow so let's make it to 0 0.7 and see how it looks so here we will first unhide so is hidden is equal to just change the uh, boolean and next thing we will check for alpha so is equal to btn dot alpha if it's equal equal to zero then we will change it to one otherwise we will go back to zero and btn layout if needed so we are done with the coding part and let's run the app for one last time so here we have it this is the previous app which i created pretty uh, looks a little slow and let's see how it looks here yeah this looks much better yeah so that's it guys if you like this video don't forget to hit like if you have any questions you can post them in comments and subscribe for future content until next time